so this week we're trying to determine how many chickens uh, are hens and how many chickens are roosters so we learned two things you know there's different methods of, of sexing the the chickens and and uh, you know that we've we found so one of the main ones is you can see the rooster always has a huge cone and just underneath it it has under the jowls here you'll see this guy right here he, you can see that the, the crown is very high and prominent very red okay so this guy right here is a rooster you can probably see right here on the top of his head this big big bright red crown and underneath the it looks like jowls right um so when they're huge and elongated like that it usually is a huge indicator of a rooster um the second part is the feathers in the back for a rooster the feathers start to droop or arch downward and as you can see they are kind of arching downward not truly really defined just yet again these are these roosters and these hens are only five weeks old so uh little by little as the feathers start coming in and uh you'll start to see a bigger difference so this right here is a rooster look out for those two signs so this one right here is a hen as you can see the cone is a lot smaller under the jowls there is less of a, a jowl here and the color is more of a pinkish tinge this one right here is very sweet these these hens are very sweet they come up to them and they they get pet and they get scratched and you can see the feathers on this one are sort of they're still not defined as well because she's still fairly young but they are starting to point upwards and they're kind of being straightened out and because of that you can determine that it is a hen so this one's going to be a nice a beautiful egg layer yeah so sweet <laughs> so that's how you can determine between a hen and a rooster okay so one of the biggest concerns that i had regarding the chickens was that when they were molting or when they were younger the feathers weren't coming in as as uh, fast as i would like them to uh look like so they looked like they were kind of bald so it concerned me so i started researching and uh part of the research was adding certain supplements to the to the water so i started adding cod liver oil which is really beneficial for their feathers for growth and for the, the look of them and now if you can see them compared to a couple of weeks ago they actually look almost uh full fully feathered um the other thing that i've been adding to their water which was to help their health and their immune system was adding a little bit of um, apple cider vinegar to it so it just increases and boosts the immune system and uh lately we've heard because now we've changed over the feed now they are feeding on regular food um they've already passed the initial stages so we're starting to feed them regular chicken feed and now we're going to start mixing in certain things that'll help with their diet help them produce eggs better and help them have a little bit more of a uh, a healthier lifestyle here on the farm so based on those three identifiers we're going to count to see how many roosters we have and how many hens we have so wait this one this one right here that's is a, a hen because look hen. see the tail is going down no the hen the tail goes straight it's, but it's, oh. it's it's the crown that you have to look at for the hen but the, the color but there's no jowls right she has no jowls see well she's gone but this one's definitely a rooster right here yeah definitely a rooster this one's a hen a hen that's but the, okay but the seat the, okay the tail's pointing up right that's right okay so the rest are rooster in here so all of them are roosters here Hmm. Let's go over here. So then we have a rooster and a hen. That's correct. And there's another hen coming up. Hen. <laughs> and let's see over here. Tail is pointing up. These two should be both hens. Correct. So altogether, how many roosters do we have? So we have half and half. We have uh, 16 chickens, so eight roosters and eight hens. Okay, what, what is a good thing or bad thing about having half and half? I mean, <laughs> it depends on what you're using them for, right? If it's dual purpose where they're used for meat and they're used for laying eggs, then uh, half and half isn't that the greatest thing because you want more egg layers than you want uh, roosters. Because usually, when in, in a coop, you want one rooster per eight eggs or eight uh, hens. 
more or less. Like that's that's the best way to go. So that means that seven of them are probably going to be meat. I know what I wanted to ask you is when are we going to start eating these chickens? July 16th. So, what? Like I explained to you before, I want them to lay eggs or start laying eggs to see which ones we can incubate and which ones we can have for consumption, right? So if we can have at least in the first batch another 10 or 15 eggs that we can incubate, then you know, have at it. Whichever, whichever rooster or whichever, um, whichever bird is not behaving properly, I guess behaving. Beha behavior <laughs> and pr productive, I guess. Yes. So then that's when we can determine uh, which ones are, are can go and, and, and whatnot. Okay. So you're not hesitant in eating them because they've been your babies from from birth. No, but I'm hesitant only because I would like to see them start laying their eggs first. Okay, so, so it's like a, it's a time frame between four to eight months, basically, like what you're expected when they start to produce eggs, mm -hmm. and then uh, even during that time, the individual chicken sometimes or the hen will sometimes be, you know, um, fall behind or maybe her diet is not right. So that can also affect whether or not um, we she's eat producing the chicken. At four no, <laughs> whether or not she's producing eggs at four months or at five months or at six and so on, right? So you gotta just make sure that they are laying their eggs and when they do, um, again, half of them go to consumption, the other half goes to trying to incubate. And if we can incubate and it's successful, then yeah, then we can start- um, Eating the chickens. Eating the chickens and measuring uh, how many we can produce and how many we can, you know, send to slaughter. Cause I just want you to know that you understand that understand. we, we are doing this so we can kind of save money and avoid going to the grocery That's store right. so we know what we're consuming. That's right. Because we're growing these chickens. <laughs> it's funny, you're trying to hit on my emotions. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs>